another YouTube video. Today's video we are talking about how to kill it at a sample sale and this is a video that I wanted to make that I have like dreamed into existence <laughs> making for so long ever since I first moved to New York City. So right now right behind me right here this is 260 sample sale. One of my absolute favorite things about living in New York City is the fact that you have access to sample sales. <laughs> A sample sale, if you're not already familiar, is basically where designers will get rid of excess merchandise. So samples are things that, pieces of clothing that were used for a photo shoot, or they were used as like PR samples. So I remember back when I was an intern in, at a fat, like at Escada, which is a um, women's luxury retail company. So it was like a PR internship, and every time an editor was doing a story, and they would say, okay, I'm doing a story on this and this, like dresses for summer or something. What do you have? We would have this big closet full of samples where we would send them and basically the samples would go around from magazine to magazine or online publication to online publication and they would shoot them for the content and then they would send them back. The sample sale originally was to just get rid of all of those, you basically sell them for a fraction of the price so you can get designer pieces at a fraction of the price so it's just amazing and then also the other thing the reason why I wanted to film this this week is because we, there's the Reformation sample sale going on so when I first moved to New York like I think it was five or six years ago now but I feel like the sample sale wasn't that long ago I don't know it doesn't, doesn't feel that long ago I went to my first sample sale here at 260 we're in Soho and it was Reformation and so many people were talking about it and it was just like tons of girls my age all in line waiting to get inside and the lines are like four or five blocks long so it can get pretty crazy and especially in the middle of the summer the Reformation one is always in June you're also really hot this I believe this uh, this, this opens at 10 it's only 7 30 right now and there's I don't know if you can see but there's already a girl lined up so it gets absolutely crazy uh, right now is Friday so it's the last day of the sale uh, I actually came here on the first day which I believe was Tuesday <laughs> and uh, so I actually already went in and got my stuff but I wanted to come back like earlier <laughs> before there was tons of people around to like film this intro and I have my notes here that I want to tell you guys about okay so the first thing was what is a sample sale I told you what that is okay how to find out about sample sales so the biggest like sample sale I guess like I guess company is 260 so they do they have actually locations all around the city I believe they also have locations in LA so yeah but this one's here in Soho they have one in like Midtown on like I think they might have like a Fifth Avenue location tons of other locations and then they also do like an online sample sale as well so if you don't live in New York or LA and you want to access a sample sale you can also go to 260.com and just shop there so it's like it's one of the best most well-kept secrets I think is sample sales it's a great kind of like entry way to afford designer pieces without paying that premium price <laughs> There's also a site called Chick Me, which basically consolidates all of the sample sales. So there's other like kind of privately held sample sales throughout the city as well. So Chick Me will kind of alert you about those. So what you can do is of course like follow them on Instagram. That's an easy way to find out which sample sales they're having, like which designers are having sample sales, when they are, what the location is. You can also put in your email to sign up for their newsletters to get that information as well. Okay, tips. <laughs> so first of all, get there in line as early as you can. I mean, I that girl is amazing that she probably had to get here so early <laughs> to be the first one in line. The first day is always like the best day. They do restock, especially with their affirmation one. They mentioned that they do restock uh, throughout the week, so there's no need to get there on the first day, but generally earlier the better. When I was here on Tuesday, the lines were, it was, I believe I was in line for four or five hours. <laughs> Just quickly show you like what the line looked like when I got there. She's parking over there. It's five at a time, you'll be in in one second. Just wait right over here, please. Oh my God, we're separated. 
hotspot on my phone so I had internet I was answering emails I was balancing my laptop on like just little stoops and places to get my work done thankfully I didn't have any calls for the rest of the day otherwise I would not have been able to do that but in the land of the pandemic when we're all working from home what's the difference if I'm here in my sitting in my apartment or if I'm in line I'm answering I'm still here regardless <laughs> By the way, please do not fire me if you work if, if, if you work at my company. I, I swear this is the only time I have ever done that. <laughs> or anything even remotely close to that. My butt is glued to my desk, I promise. Anyways. <laughs> also, I'm sorry if there's noises. I am outside, so there's cars driving by, noise on the street and everything, but okay. Get there as early as you can, expect lines first day. Yeah, if you can, also just take off of work take a half day even if you can oh and the other thing is to make friends in line so if you go by yourself which is what I did it's a long time in line so by the time that I was like done during work doing work I was just standing there like I am so bored and it came really in handy too because it started pouring and I didn't have an umbrella when I left it was extremely sunny out like I mean I was dying in the sun and then all of a sudden these like dark clouds started rolling in and I was like oh shoot I completely forgot to check the weather I completely did not bring an umbrella and then it just started bam pouring down and like everyone in line in front and behind of me just like popped up the umbrellas and then there was this girl behind me who was so sweet and she was like do you want to come under my umbrella and I was like yes and so I got she like held the umbrella and I mean obviously it's a long time so it was like I mean we were standing there talking for like two hours under a little umbrella together we're getting soaking wet so I mean it makes it it really can be to your benefit to make friends in line because of reasons like that and also just because you're bored it's a great way to meet new people too like we added each other on Instagram and and, and just yeah all right the next thing I want to tell you about is what to wear or what to bring so there are no like private areas where you can change <laughs> so you basically have to change out in the open in front of everyone else so the easiest thing if you want to just kind of like you know maintain your modesty I guess is to just wear like tight fitting clothes so I wore just like a tank top and like a pair of shorts that were tighter if you can wear just like workout shorts that are like tight fitting that's perfect and like a tank top just something that's closest fitting to your body so that if you throw a dress on over you it, you'll get the most accurate like sizing of it just because I didn't have a pair of shorts that were like workout that were tight fitting but if I had them I would have worn that and I saw other girls that were wearing that type of outfit so because once you do make it inside the dressing rooms in the back it's like they have like one giant open dressing basically was throwing on a dress over my outfit because that's really how you have to change it's just like in the middle of the store you just throw it on and uh, you can see if it fits or not which I do highly recommend doing because I was holding maybe 10 dresses in my hands 
and I was able to eliminate it down to four and had I bought the other ones I would have wasted so much money because obviously you can't return these things so yeah that's just something about that but I, I uh, would definitely recommend that you do try stuff on I mean otherwise it is like all girls in there and I mean there were people who were just like hanging out in their bra and underwear it just depends on whatever you're comfortable with I think by the end I just like took my shirt off and I was like whatever and I just put the dress on over it so I mean it's up to you but that's like just what to expect when you're in there also another reason why it's important to make friends in line or to just bring a friend with you is that there are very limited mirrors and where there are mirrors obviously everyone's crowding to them so bring a friend who can be your mirror for you put it on and be like nah does it look good what do you think does it fit me does it look right and they can tell you the friend can be your mirror other tips for when you are inside is that you have to be quick like the people that work in there are going to rush you in rush you out so because I mean obviously there's so many other people waiting and especially during COVID they kind of have to go around and like sanitize so they're trying to filter groups in and out so yeah you need to be fast when you're looking for clothes you need to be fast when you're trying on clothes and you need to be fast to get to the checkout line check out and get out of there oh something else about just what to wear or what to bring is that you should bring as much like minimal stuff they're not going to let you walk around with a bag because with sample sales you could just you know put something in your bag they're just worried about people stealing so um i mean you can bring a bag with you if you need but just know that you're going to need to check that bag they'll give you a little ticket just like when you check a coat or anything else but know that you can only actually walk around with your wallet and your cell phone all right so strategy once you are inside the sample sale <laughs> so what i like to do is if you're contemplating hmm, do i like that do i not if you like it even at least like enough just grab it because if you there's no coming back to it later like it will be gone someone else will grab it so take the things that you like don't take everything of course but just take the things that you like have them in a pile and then go into a little corner and then decide later okay I like this I don't like that that is I mean every sample sale that I've ever been to heard of strategy from other people that is the best thing to do is to grab what you like and then decide and put it back later because stuff will disappear oh also just manners like being nice to other people I think when I went to the Reformation sale years, the very first one years ago, I remember there were some people that were kind of like pushing and stuff, which just isn't cool. I mean, it's not, clothes are not worth it to do that. Just have manners. Don't be an animal. I mean, obvious, obviously. And then the last thing I guess is just to have fun. I mean, it can really suck waiting that long, but I mean, if you love fashion and you love just, I guess, New York and things like this. I just think that it's amazing and it's so cool and I feel so lucky to be able to have opportunities like this where I can live so close to places like this and I can go to sample sales and I can meet other like-minded people who are interested in the same things. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think the last thing is I'm just going to show you what I actually got at the sale. So I will show you that back in my apartment. All right, before I leave, I just wanna show you guys quickly what the line looks like. It is eight o'clock a.m. and the, it actually opens at 11 today, so I'm really curious how long it is, but anyways, here it is. It's all closed right now, but I'll show you guys. I would've already showed you the clips. Oh, and here's the prices. That's the other thing, is that you can look up the prices online ahead of time, so you can get a chance of what to expect. So here you go. Three per skew, 24. Oh, so you can't get three of the same. But I think because they're basically trying to stop people from reselling. Yep. Here it is. That's really smart to bring a chair. <laughs> okay, the line's not too long. Alright, now we are back. 
back at my apartment and I just want to show you what I got. So here is the bag that I waited five hours in line for. So, so here it is. They staple it shut at the top so that you, I guess, can't grab other things on the way out. So I got four dresses. The first one is this beautiful white dress. Yeah, it has this little kind of sweetheart neckline and it's linen. A lot of Reformation dresses are made of linen, but it's like a nice thick linen. Beautiful, it comes in at the waist. It's got these little spaghetti straps and it's more of a midi length. The next dress is also white, but this one has little puff sleeves. So also again, the sweetheart neckline. Clearly I like white with a sweetheart neckline, but anyways. <laughs> Moving on. So yeah, this one is really cute too. Again, midi length, linen, white. It just has a puff sleeve. So if I just like to be a little bit more covered up that day. What's cool about this is that it has a stretchy back. So it's very comfortable and it has a little zip in the back. So it's easier to get it on. Next, I found this white and black polka dot dress, which is actually a dress that I have been looking for for a little a little like a couple months now is like I want a dress that is white with black polka dots on it and this is basically exactly kind of the pattern that I was thinking of also I love the fact that it's got short sleeves and it comes up right here because I could wear this to work or also just like on a nice summer day this is a short dress I actually prefer short dresses I don't know why because I guess I like kind of showing off my legs and hiding my shoulders a little bit more so that's why I like short dresses but yeah, this one's a little short dress, and it does come up at the top, but it has a little keyhole at the back. It like zips up to here, and then it's got this little keyhole on the back, which is really cute. The reason I thought that this would be so cute with this pair of sh uh, this pair of shoes that I got from Cezanne. So how cute and like I don't know Parisian is that? Just like. I don't know, just like the polka dots with this little kind of ankle strap Mary Jane sort of type shoe. I just, I feel like on vacation or whatever, this would just be so, so, so cute. Okay, and then I got this dress, which I'm actually thinking I will wear around the holidays this next year. It's this pink velvet. It is so stinking cute. It's like, it has this little waistband there and it comes together in the back like this but it's more of the square neckline in the front it has these little sleeves which have this little tie on them so i'll tie those together in a bow it is a little short dress so it's a little mini dress a little bit of a kind of ruching in the back so easy to fit on it's a more of a stretchy material this one is not really actually the velvet isn't stretchy it's just right there that's stretchy that's stretchy. I figured this would be such a cute holiday dress because I feel like I'm always sometimes feeling like I have to wear like red or green or black around the holidays but I'm trying to find ways that I can be festive and holiday like but still be true to my style and so something like this is so perfect for that just like a pink velvet. Oh, so holidays that's gonna be so cute. And then the last thing that I got, and this one is a bit of a regret. This one I actually tried on in this store and it seemed like it fit. Oh, it's so cute. It's a little mini dress and it's this white with blue flower pattern. So it's really, really, really cute. And it's almost like a shift dress shape in that sort of, you know, the back looks like this. It comes all the way up. But it's it's sewed in a way that gives that is a little bit more fitted and kind of gives you a really nice little shape. <sighs> I thought that this fit when I was wearing it in the store, and I thought mm, maybe it's just because like it's over my clothes. This is a size zero, and I'm not a zero. I'm actually normally a six in dresses, so yes, this is a little bit too small for me. So I'm gonna see if maybe one of my friends wants this or whatever maybe if I can resell it I still bought it for kind of a little bit so um, oh and then it also has these little slits in the front so that's cute another regret that I did not realize and this is another tip that you have to kind of keep in mind is that it has this orange stain on it because of the fact that these are samples also a lot of times they're used for 
just like fit models so when they're trying to decide is this sewn correctly they'll try it on the fit model does it doesn't look right on an actual human body and sometimes it doesn't and so those are also being sold in the sale so you have to really be mindful and that's also why I say it's so important to try stuff on because you just never know sometimes it might look right on the hanger but it just does not fit right on the body I think this was definitely a sample because you can see it still has this like red string in it as well I mean part of me is like that's so cool like this is the one that they use to like make all the other dresses and it just I don't know it's like I don't know I, I just it, <laughs> I think I like fashion a little bit too much but <laughs> you have to be mindful of that if you are someone who knows how to sew then I mean you can find like a piece that is for a much cheaper price and then take it home and just like fix it a little bit. I actually tried on a dress that obviously I didn't keep but it had one sleeve was a little cap sleeve like this and then the other sleeve was about down to here and I put it on and I was like hmm something looks off. Oh the sleeves are totally different. <laughs> So there's things like that where that one was definitely used when they were still <laughs> constructing the garment. So you have to like closely examine everything before you buy to make sure there aren't things like that. So this one was a waste of money, but I mean I found three other amazing dresses that I'm really excited about, so. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, so that is it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and learned some things about sample sales. I hope that if you live here that you go to the next sample sale that they're having or that you uh, we can meet in line in the reformation sale next year. Anyway, yes, I hope that you enjoyed and of course don't forget to subscribe and also check out my Instagram, The Fashion Squirrel. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.